Hi, everybody, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura. So, Laura is、uh, taking a hot spring bath. Something you enjoy? I do actually enjoy, but I have、mm-hmm. to be honest.、Yeah. Some hot springs they don't smell so good. Yeah, there is that the、uh, the kind of eggy smell yeah, that comes off. Yeah, it、them. smells like farts to me. <laughs> okay, well we'll talk those, a bit about later. Those are really I'm not a big fan. However,、mm-hmm. um, the ones in Jiaoxi, Jiaoxi, they don't.、Oh, okay. They, they actually, it's just like hot water. So sometimes、yeah. I'm wondering, is this just A hot bath I'm taking, or is it really like really good hot spring water? Cool. I've not been to the Jiaoxi one. I've been to a place called Reishui, which is somewhere、oh, on the east coast. Okay.、Uh, Ulai, when you could still go down、mm-hmm. and take those baths.、Uh, Beito. Do they smell?、Oh, okay, Beito ones smell. Yeah, you've got the Beito ones, of、mm-hmm. course. They're pretty famous if you live up here here in Taipei, like we do. It's the place you'll probably go most often to get some hot springs in,、yes. and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's article. So let's start our look at nature, history, and culture in beautiful Beitou. Reading. Nature, history, and culture in beautiful Beitou. It's winter. And one way to warm up is in the comfort of a hot spring. Beito is a sulfur hot spring paradise at the base of Yangmingshan National Park. It's convenient to get to Beito by MRT because it's right outside Xin Beito Station. Pack your swimsuit and towel and head to Beito's public hot spring. Or. If you feel comfortable bathing naked, you can go to one of Beito's many private hot spring hotels. The sulfur in the water is thought to ease pain and aid skin health. After you've bathed long enough that your fingers seem like prunes, walk over to Beito's thermal valley. Its lake is one of the sources of the area's hot spring water. The water sometimes bubbles. At almost 100 degrees Celsius, as steam rises up, the strong smell of sulfur fills the air around the valley, which is often called Hell Valley by locals. It was considered one of the twelve great sites of Taiwan during the Japanese colonial period. So the article begins, and we say it's winter. Of course, it is. We're、mm-hmm. in December, and one way to warm up is in the comfort of a hot spring. So we've got a phrasal verb here: warm up. To warm up is just like it sounds like. It means to get warm when you're cold.、Uh, the up doesn't mean, I guess. <laughs> particularly anything much. Maybe、uh-huh. it's like your temperature goes up,、yeah. and we would say warm up and cool down、yes. as opposites. But it just means to get warmer.、Mm, okay, so warm up 就是变温暖，或者是使暖和。所以课文一开始就提到说，冬天到了，那有一个让身体变温暖的方式，就是当然待在舒适的温泉中。And we see this word comfort in this sentence, right? Yeah, you're in the comfort of a hot spring. Here we're using the word comfort to mean kind of feelings and sensations of things like warmth, <sighs> safety, softness, being happy, feeling relaxed, not being bothered or troubled, sitting in a nice warm hot spring, kind of forgetting <sighs> your troubles. That is comfort. So you might say hotels are nice. But you can't beat the comfort of your own home.、Mm, I totally agree with that. Okay, comfort 这个是一个名词哦，就是舒适、舒服。像是呢，其实洛洛老师，我呢觉得，哎，其实现在不要因为爱漂亮就穿那种让身体觉得怪怪的不舒服的材质。I like to dress for comfort rather than fashion.、Mm-hmm. And we often see its adjective form, which is comfortable. Yep. 对 ，comfortable 就是舒服的，它是它的形容词。那口语呢，我们都可以说 it's so comfy， 就是好舒服哦。Mm-hmm. C O M F Y. So we're talking about having、uh, the comfort of the hot springs, and that introduces our next sentence about where we're going to. It says Beito is a sulfur 
hot spring paradise at the base of Yangmingshan National Park. So a lot of the reason that springs are like they are and they smell like the way they smell、mm-hmm. is to do with sulfur. You'll sometimes see this word S U L F U R, and you might see it S U L. P H U R. That's more common in the UK for sure.、Mm-hmm. But sulfur, sulfur. It's spelled. It's, it's spelled differently. It's pronounced the same way. It's a chemical element. Just the S, if you know that、ah. table. And we do use it.、Uh, it is useful in our bodies.、Right? We do need a little bit of it.、Oh. But you'll know when it's in the water or the air because it does smell like bad eggs. 真的，我觉得是像臭臭屁的味道，就是臭臭的。OK， 就是我们一直在提到的 sulfur。OK， 如果你有学化学，就应该知道它就是硫磺哦，或者是硫，它是一个名词哦。那刚刚有提到北头，就是北头，当然就是台北市的北头啦。那刚刚有提到 base， 注意哦，它是当做名词来用，这里指的是底部。那我们提到的是 Yangmingshan National Park， 就是位于台北的呃这个北台湾的阳明山国家公园。那课文提到说，北投是一个硫磺温泉的天堂，它是位于阳明山国家公园的底部哦。那我们是用什么字来形容天堂呢 ？Paradise. That's right. We describe Beito as a paradise for hot springs. So paradise, the sort of religious meaning,、mm-hmm. is heaven, basically,、Yay. the place you go after you die, and things are、mm-hmm. very nice there. But in most normal conversation, we use the word paradise to mean anywhere that's like wonderful. It's ideal. It's perfect. It's the kind of place you could go to, and you just think, "Oh yes, <laughs> I could stay in this place forever." And it's different for everybody. Some people will think of a beach resort as、yes. a paradise. Some people will say the mountains.、Uh, We could describe something as a shopping paradise if it、course. has lots of shops. So here's an example. You could say, "This place is paradise. It has white sand beaches, beautiful blue sea." And the weather is just wonderful. I want to go there. Okay, paradise. 虽然它就是 heaven 天堂的意思，但是它也有种某一个地方简直是棒到不得了，是一个乐园。它是一个名词哦。举例，我提到一个地方，夏威夷 ，Hawaii is a paradise for surfers. Yeah, and it's also easy to get to. Is Beito? We see it's convenient to get to Beito by MRT because it's right outside Shin Beito Station. Ah, super convenient. 我们来看一下这里提到的一个字哦 ，right， 它是当做副词来用哦，就是正好怎么样，或是就怎么样。那课我们还提到了新北投 station， 当然就是台北捷运的新北投站。所以呢，坐捷运到北投是非常方便，因为它正好就在新北投站的外面哦。And next in the article we read: Pack your swimsuit and towel and head to Beito's public hot spring. 这里的 head 是当做动词来用，表示前往。那常用的方法就是 head to， 然后再接一个地点。所以课文是提到，赶快打包你的泳衣啦，还有毛巾，并且前往北投的公共温泉吧。Yep, you can go in the public hot spring. Springs, they're pretty cheap and、mm. they're, they're right there. But the article gives you another suggestion too. It says, or if you feel comfortable bathing naked, you can go to one of Beito's many private hot spring hotels, where you only share the room with the people you want to share it with. So that's if you're comfortable being <laughs> naked. Let's find out what this word means. So if you're naked, you have no clothes on, nothing at all, and we could also say I've heard that you could say you're wearing your birthday suit. In other words, the clothes you were born in, nothing at all. Here's an example sentence: I can't answer the door now. I just had a shower, and I'm naked and wet. Yes, you can answer the phone, but not answering the door naked. You could. You might surprise a few people. <laughs> okay, naked. This word means naked. That you can use nude, n-u-d-e, or what Patty just mentioned, in your birthday suit. This is super cute because we were born without clothes. For example, he likes to sleep in his birthday suit. Okay, that's it for today's article. We hope you enjoyed it. 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 We hope you enjo
。OK， 而且呢，提到的 Naked 要怎么用呢？我觉得呢，一个人在家里很方便，如果都没有人的话，可以走来走去，然后都不穿衣服。It's great to be home alone and walking around the house naked too. 好啦，所以。或者呢，我们来看到课文提到说，如果你觉得这个裸体泡温泉很舒服的话呢，你就可以在北投众多的私人的温泉旅馆挑一间去哦。But you don't do this just to relax. There can be other benefits to hot springs.、Oh. The article says the sulfur in the water is thought to ease pain and aid skin health. I didn't know that. Now I don't mind the smell at all. Okay, so 原来水中的硫磺被认为是可以舒缓疼痛以及帮助皮肤健康哦。Okay, now I like sulfur now. Now the next in the article it reads: After you've bathed long enough that your fingers seem like prunes, walk over to Beto's Thermal Valley. Okay, here we see our grammar. Okay, so let's take a look at seem. 今天我们要来学一学 seem 的用法。动词 seem 的意思就是好像啊，似乎，表示对某件事情的推测。它是连缀动词哦。那以下是常见的用法，我们可以用 seem 再接形容词，或是 seem like， 然后再接上名词。OK， 这个呢是可以当做主词补语哦。那说明主词的状态。接名词的时候，前面一定要加一个介系词 like， 表示像什么什么。我来举个例子会比较清楚。Judy doesn't seem happy. Is she okay? 这是接形容词的用法。Or Jack seems like a nice person. Jack 看起来似乎是一个不错的人哦。再来，我们常常还会用主词加上 seem to， 然后再接原形动词。这其实就等于 it seems that 后面这个子句的用法。举例像是 I seem to have forgotten to lock the door this morning， 就是等于 it seems that I forgot to lock the door this morning。惨了，我今天早上好像忘记锁门嘞。So the article talked about when your fingers seem like prunes. <laughs> a prune is a dried plum, and when you see them, they've got lots of wrinkles and、yeah. folds in their skin. And of course, this is like when you take a long bath or a long shower.、Mm -hmm. Kind of your fingers look like I call them old man fingers. <laughs> wrinkly, you know, they, yeah. You go wrinkly and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. 刚刚我们有提到说，如果我们泡澡或者是泡温泉很久，我们的手指会像 prunes， 就是李子干。它是一个名词哦。所以在你泡到你的手指看起来像李子干后，课文提到说，你可以走到北头的。Thermal Valley, 就是地热谷。Yep, go and check out what's there. It's quite interesting. The article says its lake is one of the sources of the area's hot spring water. Oh, okay. So it has the water is this region's hot spring water source. And next, the article reads the water sometimes bubbles at almost 100 degrees Celsius as steam rises up. So here we're using the word bubble as a verb. Yes, and it's、mm. often a noun. We think of bubbles as just being these little air pockets of something, little、mm. gas bubbles. As a verb, we just mean to form gas bubbles、ah. or pockets inside of or on top of a liquid. And this will happen when something boils. If you boil a saucepan of water, you say, "Oh, it's bubbling. It's ready for the rice or the noodles or whatever you're doing." Here's an example sentence: The water is starting to bubble. That means it's hot enough. So turn off the gas now. Hmm. 一般我们用的 bubble 一定是一个名词，就是泡泡，对不对？不过在本课的 bubble 是当做动词来用，有着冒泡啊、起泡，当然还有沸腾的意思哦，表示水非常热哦。举例来说 ，Heat the soup until it bubbles. 那课文提到，就是呢，有时候水会在快一百度的时候沸腾，它会随着蒸汽上升。And I believe we saw the word steam, didn't we? That's right. We saw steam coming off the water of the,、mm. of the lake in the thermal valley. Steam as a noun means water that is so hot that it has become gas. We could use steam for other liquids, but really, steam should only refer to water in its gas form. Here's an example sentence: In winter, I have hot showers that fill my bathroom with steam. 
。I love that. Okay, steam 是什么呢？就是蒸汽啊，或是水蒸气，它是一个名词哦。So yeah, if water is heated to one hundred Celsius degrees, um, it turns to steam. 那 steam 还可以当做动词来用哦，它就是蒸的意思。像是我超级喜欢吃的蒸饺，英文就是 steamed dumplings.、Mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay, but the smell of the hot spring valley is maybe not so yummy. The article <laughs> says the strong smell of sulfur fills the air around the valley, which is often called Hell Valley. By locals, so we've looked earlier on at this word paradise. paradise. Yep. Now it's time to go for the complete opposite word, hell. So just like paradise, this kind of word has a religious meaning and a more common, normal use meaning. The word hell. So in religions, hell is the place where the wicked are punished. It's where they go for fire and torture and lots of unpleasant things. And we can also use this word to refer to anywhere that's hot, smelly, and unpleasant. If you were in a summer classroom and your AC is broken, you'd say, "Oh, it's like hell in here. I'm so sweaty." There's actually a place in Michigan, in the U.S., that's just called hell. Presumably, it's not very nice. And here's another sentence: Death Valley in California, U.S., is often described as being like hell because it's hot. And dry, and nothing can survive. 没错，我们先前提到了 paradise 啊，或者是 heaven 啊，现在要看它的相反词，就是 hell， 也就是地狱啦。它是一个名词，像是我们一般可能会想说，嗯，坏人可能以后他们可能会下地狱。Do you believe that bad people will go to hell after they die? No, they'll just die.、嗯、okay, 那 hell 呢，在口语上呢，其实还有用来表示那种。很悲惨的情况，或者是苦难的经历啊。比方像是，如果你数学很差，然后数学老师老是给你们出很多作业，你可能会说 ，My math teacher made my life hell. OK， 我们来看一下刚刚的课文提到的，就是呢，这个地热谷其实是北投温泉的源头之一。那因为它中年弥漫着这个硫磺啊烟雾。所以呢，其实我有 Google 一下，他说让人可能会联想到就是恐怖的地狱啊，所以呢，常常被当地的人也称为地狱谷，还有鬼湖这两个名字哦。Sounds kind of scary. Yeah, but even though it sounds a bit scary、mm -hmm. with this name and it smells a little bad, we see in the article it was considered one of the twelve great sites of Taiwan. During the Japanese colonial period,、oh. we use this word "colonial" to describe usually something in a country as being built or coming from a time when that country was a colony. In other words,、oh. ruled by another. So here it's the, when it was a Japanese colony.、Mm, okay, 没错 ，colonial 这个形容词就是殖民时期的。所以呢，课文我们大概来了解一下，而且我有也在上网去感受一下，到底这个地方哦有多美。他说，硫磺烟雾弥漫的景色，有点像是如梦似幻，所以就像仙境一般哎。所以大家刚刚不要被那个 hell 被吓到了。而且它还是日治时代台湾八景十二胜之一哦。So it must be really pretty to take a look at. It certainly is, and it's interesting. It's different to see a lake、mm -hmm. with steam. Coming off it is the sort of place you should definitely go and check out. Well, we'll learn more about other places in Beito tomorrow. But right now, let's go to today's for you chat question. For you chat. So our chat question is: Except for bathing in hot springs. What can you do to get warm in cold weather, or to use our phrasal verb from today? From today, warm up in、oh, cold weather. Oh, I think I would go for hot chocolate and marshmallows. Okay, yeah.、Yummy. Hot drinks, plenty of、and、tea,、what? coffee, soup. heaters. <laughs> yeah, go go for a hot pot. Oh, that's my hot pot. Yeah, or gin, I, ginger duck, ginger I chicken. I can have hot pot. 
actually all, all year. year. Well, That's yes. right. I don't have to have it in winter. Also in summer, I enjoy it. True, but yeah, you、mm -hmm. see all the、uh, the ginger duck and、That's、ginger、right. chicken stores. That you have it mostly in winter. Do a lot of big business. Jiang、mm, Yang. You? you just, to be honest, you just stay in bed with the covers on,、yes. and you say, "Dear teacher, I am <laughs> sick. Dear boss, I am sick. I have COVID. I can't、Call、come in." Oh, sick. No, don't do that.、No. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> but、uh, yeah, you could. I think I know people who will certainly go to bed a little bit earlier,、ah. and on weekends stay in bed、Yay. a lot later when it's cold outside. Otherwise, just wear more clothes.、Exactly. This isn't a secret or difficult science here. There are lots of things. Run around in your warm <laughs> <What> ? clothes. <laughs> yeah, just, just go for an ex exercise.、That'll、or those warm hand warmers. Yeah, yeah. They, they work. Yeah, warm warm bags. Yes,、mm, that's right. Or do what we do in the UK and just go on a vacation to a hot country. That's right, like Australia. Yeah, go go and, <laughs> go and live in Australia. That's very hot in most、mm -hmm. of that place. Okay, that is all we've got time for today. But join us again tomorrow to learn more about other things, not just hot springs. You can check out in Beito. See you then. Bye, Bye. for now. Vocabulary review. Comfort. Sally's new office chair provides her with much more comfort than her old one. Paradise. This hotel is beautiful, and the weather here is perfect. What a paradise! Naked. At some beaches, you are allowed to take off all your clothes and be naked. Bubble. Once the water starts bubbling, you can put the noodles in the pot. Steam. Kenny built a machine that boils water and uses the steam to cook vegetables. Hell. Many religions say that if people are bad, they'll go to hell when they die. 智慧小补帖 Sulfur. Prune. Colonial. <音>以上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询。网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。